Is there anything there? Refresh. Hello. Hello. Can everybody hear me? Can you hear me? My husband is giving me an instruction. I don't know what he's saying. This way, like that. Just do it, <laughs> just do it. All right, can you hear me? You can hear me, right? All right, yes. hoping you can hear me. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm so happy to be here with you today. Um, my name is Rita Mead. I am a new client with Stamola Literary and my awesome agent, Allison Helligers, Helligers, put together this great series of programming for Stamola Live. So I just wanna say thank you to her and for Stamola for having me um, here and as a client now. So be sure to check out the other videos that people are doing on the Stamola YouTube channel, which is where we are right now. So again, my name is Rita Mead. Today I'm gonna to be doing a brief story time with all of you. Um, and that's going to include a book reading. We're gonna sing a couple of songs and we're gonna do a really short, messy drawing activity that I like to call bad art. And I will explain why I call it that a little bit later. So if you want to have crayons or markers or a pencil or pen and a piece of paper, to draw along with me, please feel free to do so, but it's not required at all. It's not gonna be a very long, lengthy thing. So um, I live in Brooklyn, New York, and I am a children's librarian at one of the branches here at, in Brooklyn Public Library. Um, so I'm used to doing story time with a group of people, not a computer screen. So any mistakes that you see right now, are gonna be live, but that's okay. That's just part of the adventure, right? So thank you for doing this with me. Um, I wanted to show you my Brooklyn library card. This is like the little keychain version of it. Um, and I wanted to show you this just to remind you if you don't have a library card, or if you have one and you left it at home and you're a Brooklyn resident or a New York State resident, you can actually apply for an e-card on the Brooklyn Public Library website, and that would give you access to our e-books and databases. And um, there's also a lot of other cool programming going on that my library colleagues are doing on the Brooklyn Public Library Facebook page, the family Facebook page. So basically, you have a lot of different options for fun things. Um, that have to do with books. All right. Oh, the other thing, do you see the little character on the library card? Does anybody know who this character is? If you said Max, you are correct. This is Max from Where the Wild Things Are by the wonderful children's book author, Maurice Sendak. And speaking of wonderful children's books, children's book authors, I just wanted to dedicate this little story time to the late, great Tommy DiPaola. Thank you, Tommy, for everything. Um, okay, so that's my library card. Along with being a librarian, I also happen to have written a picture book. And here's the cover. This is probably gonna be backwards. Is this backwards if you can write to me? Oh good, it's not. <laughs> All right, so this book is called Edward Gets Messy. As you can see, the title is very messy on the cover. Um, so I am Rita Mead, I am the author of the book, which means that I wrote the words. The illustrations were done by a person called Olga Stern. She's a wonderful artist and illustrator. So she did the pictures, I did the words, and I'm pointing that out so um, you know that in order to write a children's book, you don't necessarily have to be a really good drawer or a really good writer. You can be one or the other, or you can be both, as some lucky people are. And I'm gonna talk about that a little bit more a little later. But so I wanna say thank you to Olga, and I wanna say thank you to Simon & Schuster Books for Young Readers for 
um, letting me read the book today and for having me write it in the first place and for not suing me for copyright infringement. Okay, so as you can see, here's Edward. What kind of animal is Edward? Let me hear you shout it out. I can't actually hear you. So if you said pig, you are absolutely correct. Edward is a very particular pig. So what that means in this situation is that Edward likes things to always be a certain way. He does not like to get messy and um, he likes to be in control of his situation. And I wrote this story because I am like Edward. If you know me in real life, you know this. I don't really like to get messy. I like it when things go a certain way and I like to be in control of my situation. But something that I have learned over the years is that you can't always control your situation, right? Um, sometimes things are gonna go wrong. Sometimes things are gonna get messy and you have to kind of go with the flow and adapt to the situation, right? So right now, I think maybe all of us might be feeling that way. Um, we're not really in control of our situation right now. Things are pretty messy to say the least. Um, and maybe we're feeling kind of scared or sad or frustrated or worried, or maybe even we're feeling angry at certain things. And it's really okay to feel whatever you're feeling right now. And it's definitely okay to talk about your feelings right now. So books are a good way to kind of go through our feelings sometimes. And I'm hoping that Edward can maybe help us think through some of these feelings that we are feeling right now. And if not, that's okay too. Sometimes it's just fun to read a story. All right, I'm gonna take a sip of water. And then I like to start my story times with a little song. It's very simple. If you've ever been to my library or if I've ever visited your school, you probably already know this song. If you wanna sing along with me and do the movements, please feel free to, but if you don't want to, that's fine. You can just stare at me, that's fine too. All right, my friends. So we're gonna clap our hands together like this and then we're gonna sing along if you want to, okay? Come on, everybody, let's clap our hands, clap our hands, clap our hands. Come on, everybody, let's clap our hands. It's story time. I can hear my husband clapping in the next room. All right, what else can we do besides clap our hands? Can we wave our arms? Let's give a good stretch up there. Maybe we've been doing schoolwork today. Hopefully you've got a little chance to run around a little bit, but if not, let's give a nice big stretch. And now let's wave our arms, ready? Come on everybody, let's wave our arms, wave our arms, wave our arms. Come on everybody, let's wave our arms. It's story time. Very good. What else can we do? Can we touch our heads? Do we all have our heads on straight today? No, me neither, that's okay. All right, let's tap our heads, but let's remember not to tap too hard or a little hurt, right? Ow, okay, we don't wanna do that. Come on, everybody, let's tap our heads, tap our heads, Tap our heads, come on everybody, let's tap our heads, it's story time. Very good, let's do one more and let's touch our noses. Where's your nose? Is your nose here today? I hope so, okay, here we go. Come on everybody, let's touch our nose, touch our nose. Touch our nose, come on everybody, let's touch our nose, it's story time. Very good job. Give yourselves a little hand. You are doing so, so well. Okay, now we are going to read Edward Gets Messy by me, Meter, Meter Reed. Wow, wow, if you're from Northmore High School, 
maybe you know that name, me to read. Rita Mead, illustrated by Olga Stern. Okay, I'm gonna try to do this so everybody can see. And if you can't see the pictures too well, I will try to get a little closer. Here we go. This is Edward. Let's say hello to Edward. Hi, Edward. Edward is a very particular pig. He detests dirt. He fears filth. He likes things to be just so. Edward never gets messy. And you can see him leaping over the puddle so he doesn't get wet. Each morning before school, Edward irons his perfectly clean clothes. He tidies his perfectly tidy room until there's not a speck of dust in sight. Do we all do that before we go to school every day? I didn't think so. He vacuums his perfectly sparkling goldfish tank with a special underwater vacuum. Edward is very happy with being very clean, but it's hard work to stay that way. All right, so let's see what Edward has to do every day in order to not get messy. Edward never pets friendly dogs on the street. He never ever eats food that spills or splatters. And he never ever ever uses markers or glue sticks or paint. Why not? They are just too messy. It's sure not easy being a particular pig. All right, on the way to school one morning, Edward's friends jump in a big pile of dirty leaves. And we have a nice sound word there. So what do the leaves sound like? Let's all make the noise together, ready? They go crunch, crunch, crunch. Very good. But Edward doesn't get messy. He walks on the sidewalk. All righty. In Edward's science class, sorry guys. In Edward's science class, the baking soda volcano erupts into a spraying flow and the volcano goes boom. Boom, very good. But Edward doesn't get messy. He sits at the back of the room, hiding under the desk which I don't blame him for. Okay, at lunchtime, everyone else at Edward's table eats spaghetti and meatballs. So what does it sound like sometimes if we're eating spaghetti or noodles or something messy? We go slurp, slurp, slurp. But does Edward get messy? No, he eats a plate of steamed broccoli, which is still good. It's just not very messy unless you make it messy, I guess. On the muddy field outside, Edward's classmates play a game of baseball and the mud goes squish. But does Edward get messy? No, he stays in the stands. Okay, Edward has stayed clean for most of the day. Now there's just one class left. The art teacher gives out paper and paint and the paint goes gloop on the floor. Do you think Edward's gonna get messy? Hmm, once again, Edward does not get messy. He straightens up the supply shelf, but something goes wrong. So what do you see? happening up there on the shelf. Hmm, do you think that paint is gonna fall on Edward's head? Let's see, <gasps> plop, 
Oh dear. Do you think more paint's gonna fall? Splat! Oh dear. To his surprise and his horror, and through no fault of his own, Edward gets messy. Oh no. Do you think Edward is going to be happy about that? I don't think so. <gasps> Edward is distraught. Edward is devastated. And those are fancy words for not happy. Edward doesn't know what to do. <sighs> but wait. Hmm. What can Edward do with those paints besides being sad about being messy? What, he, what can he do with those paints? Let's see. Oh, Edward has made his very own painting. And does Edward look happy now? I think so. I think Edward is okay with it. So the next day at school, Edward helps the science teacher with her experiment. And there's Edward's friends helping out too. And on the muddy baseball field, Edward gets a hit and slides into second base. Look at all that mud. And on the way home from school, he jumps into that big pile of leaves. Do you want to see my favorite picture in the whole book? It's this one right here. Yay! Go, Edward! So now, Edward is no longer afraid to pet friendly dogs on the street or eat food that spills and splatters. And he happily uses markers and glue sticks and especially paint because Edward now knows that it's okay even for particular pigs to get messy. Look at all the art he's making. After all, they can always clean up afterward. The end. Look at Edward in the tub. That silly pig. Yay, it's over. <laughs> My friends, the story time is not over. The book is over. Thank you so much for reading it with me. I just want to say hello. I can see your comments. Hi, Kate. Hi, Allison. Hi, Linda. Hi, Detian and Deborah and Andre and fam. Thank you so much. It's so nice to see you on here. Um, I hope we're having a good time. Hi, Natalie. <laughs> uh, hi, Michelle. Thank you all for watching with me right now. And what was I going to do next? Let's see. Let's see. I'm going to take a sip of tea because we need to stay hydrated. All right. So now that we've read our messy book, let's sing a little messy song. And this song is called Icky Sticky Bubblegum. And it requires us to use our imaginations because I don't know about you right now, I do not have any bubble gum in my apartment. So we're just kind of working with what we have here. But the good thing is we always have our imaginations to work with, right? So for Icky Sticky Bubblegum, we're going to imagine that we have bubble gum in our pockets. And maybe we have to imagine that we have pockets because I haven't worn jeans in three weeks. I don't know about you all. Hello, everybody. Hello, Chris. Hello, Matt. Hi, Linda. Did I say hi already? Okay. So we are going to reach into our imaginary pockets and pull out our piece of imaginary gum. All right. So my gum is blue to match my nails today. What color is your gum? Uh, yay, Keith found his bubble gum. Good for you, Keith. All right, 
So whatever color or flavor your gum is, I'm going to say mine is blue chocolate gum because they should make chocolate gum, I think, really. Okay, now we're going to put it in our mouths and chew. Ready? We have to chew it really, really well. Ready? Um, are you chewing? Am I doing this by myself? I hope not. Okay. So now that our gum's all chewed, we are going to blow a big imaginary bubble. Are you ready to blow your bubble? All right. Here we go, my friends. Start off small. Uh-oh. What happens when the bubble gets too big? It's going to pop on our heads. Oh, no. And now we are covered in icky, sticky bubble gum. And we're going to sing the song. Are you ready with your bubble gum hands? Let me see your bubble gum hands. All right. Here we go. Icky, sticky bubble gum, bubble gum, bubble gum. Icky, sticky bubble gum. Stick our hands to our faces. Oh, no. Now our hands are stuck to our faces. Oh boy, this is not a good look. All right, where should we stick our sticky bubblegum hands next? Should we stick them on our shoulders? What do you think? Yeah, let's stick them on our shoulders. Here we go, ready? Icky, sticky, bubblegum, bubblegum, bubblegum. Icky, sticky, bubblegum. Stick our hands to our shoulders. Ew, this is gross. Okay, Deborah, I love your voice too, Deborah. Thank you. All right, where should we stick our sticky hands next? Should we stick them on our noses? Hmm, I think we should. Here we go, ready? Icky, sticky, bubble gum, bubble gum, bubble gum. Icky, sticky, bubble gum. Stick our hands to our noses. Oh no! Now I can't breathe. Oh, that's not a good one. Let's get them off our noses and stick them to our hair. We wanna keep our noses clear, right? Icky, sticky, bubble gum, bubble gum, bubble gum. Icky, sticky, bubble gum. Stick our hands to our hair. Oh no, now we have bubble gum in our hair. That's the worst. Okay, on the count of three, let's unstick from our hair. Ready? One, two, three, on stick. Ah, oh, so much better. Oh, fix our hair here. And now I'm going to just clean my hands a little bit with some hand sanitizer that I was very lucky to have before this all went down. So we always have to remember now to wash our hands really, really well, right? Even if we're not sticky. We always want to wash our hands. And a good way to wash your hands long enough is to sing the happy birthday song twice. So um, I want to actually say happy birthday to my friend, my friend Sam down in Delaware. Hi, Sam. Um, he's 10 years old today, and I hope he's having a really good day. And I'm not going to sing happy birthday because I think they actually would sue us for the copyright thing for happy birthday. So, but happy birthday, Sam. And just remember, if you want to wash your hands the right way, sing happy birthday twice while you're washing them. All right, very good. So, hi, Sharon and Elliot and Gabe. Hi. All right, let's do let's do some bad art. What do you think? All right, this is going to be very fast because I am not good at art. Um, so the reason I call this bad art, and the reason that I did not illustrate. Edward Gets Messy, Olga did, is because I'm not really a good artist. Um, and I will show you why in one second. Hi, Louis. So this is called bad art, but bad is a relative term, really. What one person thinks is bad, another person thinks is good and vice versa. So there's really no such thing as bad art, I don't think. But I don't feel comfortable enough as an artist to have illustrated a book. The good thing is, like I said earlier, you don't have to be a good artist to make a book. You can be a good writer or a good drawer 
or both. And maybe you don't even want to want to write a book. Maybe you have another talent. Maybe you're good at baseball or maybe you're good at singing or the flute or whatever. Um, just keep practicing. That's my whole point. Keep practicing your own special talent and um, give up. Don't 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 give up. I didn't say give up. I said don't give up whatever you like to do. Just keep practicing. OK, time for bad art. Hi, Ella. Hi, Ella and Drew. Nice to see you guys. OK, nice to see you all, I should say. You guys is my Long Island roots coming out. Hey, you guys, let's do some art now. OK, so what I'm going to do for this session of bad art is I'm going to draw my version of a pig. And if you have paper and markers or crayons or whatever, and you want to draw along and make your own pig, I invite you to do that now. If you want to just watch, that's fine too. If you don't want to do anything, if you want to go, go away, that's fine too. But I will ask you, promise, please not to laugh at my pig. I do this when I go to visit schools. And I'll be honest with you, the kids always, always laugh. So it's okay if you do laugh. All right, so here's Edward. I don't think I can hold this at the same time. So we all remember what Edward looks like. That's Olga Stern's beautiful pig. And now I'm going to do a live drawing of my kind of pig. Ready? So if you're drawing at home, you're probably doing a better job than I am. All right, so I'm going to make my pig purple because why not? I like purple pigs. So this is how I draw a pig, ready? All right, so I'm not even gonna look at Edwards. I'm just gonna draw the pig head. Does that look like a head? Uh, sure, let's go with that. I'm gonna draw some pig ears. Okay. And pigs have big smiles, right? Pig smile, why not? And pig nose, okay, I know that one. Pig noses look like that, right? This kind of looks like a pig, I think. Um, and we'll draw some eyes on the pig. Oh, hello. Made some eyelashes, why not? Look at this pig, very, very beautiful. Now, pigs usually have a body. So I'm gonna draw this. What do you think? Is this looking like your pigs out there? I don't know why it looks like an insect, but okay. Um, pigs have four legs, I think. So here's one, two, three, four, and little pig feet, right? Hooves, pigs have hooves. And what am I missing? What am I forgetting? Pigs have a tail. This is totally a pig. What do you think? Does it look like a pig? Does it look like the pig you drew or whatever you drew? <laughs> Thank you for telling me not to give up. I appreciate that very much. All right, this is a pig. I'll do one more drawing to practice. So now I think I'm gonna draw a green cat, okay? Aw, Lewis, my friend, thank you for drawing with me. Even if we're not good, who cares? We're having fun, right? I'm having fun. All right, my cat is going to be green. You can keep drawing your pig or whatever you're drawing. You don't have to draw with me. All right. I'm going to draw a cat and let's see, a cat has a head, right? And a cat has ears. Ah, I think you might see where this is going. And a cat has a smile because the cats are happy. And um, cat nose, cat nose. Uh, let's just go with a little button nose. How about that? Yes, I specifically did not use blue so I wouldn't copy Pete the cat, though I do love Pete the cat. All right, cat eyes. Oh, okay. How's that looking? 
and a cat body. All right, here we go. And cats have four legs too. They have slightly different feet than pigs. <laughs> I'm glad you're having fun, Keith. Oh, I don't know why. I guess we haven't um we haven't trimmed this cat's claws in a while. All right, and then the cat has a tail. Right? Oh, goodness. I don't know what a cat's tail looks like. Sort of like that, right? Okay. Well, yeah. All right, this is a cat. Did you all have fun drawing a cat? Let's compare the pig and the cat. Two totally different animals that I have drawn for you today. You're very welcome. All right, my friends, what else can we do? I have a couple minutes left. And I think maybe we should do one more song. Can we do my favorite song, Roly Poly? This is a very easy song about, <laughs> there's a very easy, it's a very easy song about opposites, okay? So if we're gonna go up, then the opposite is down. Very good. We're gonna go out, and the opposite of out is in. And then we're gonna go fast, and the opposite of fast is slow. <laughs> All right. Are we ready? Let me see your rolling arms. Here we go. Roly poly, roly poly, up, 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 up. Roly, roly poly, roly, roly poly, down, 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 down. Very good. All right, you ready for out and in? Okay, I hope you can see my arms. All right, here we go. Roly poly, roly poly, out, 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 out. Roly roly poly, roly roly poly, in, 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 in. Very good. Okay, there's one more. We're gonna go fast and slow. All right, ready? Oh, let's get those arms rolling a little faster. Here we go. Roly poly, roly poly, fast, 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 fast. Roly roly poly, roly roly poly, slow, 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 slow. Very good, everybody. All right. That was wonderful. I've had so much fun with you today. Um, I think we're going to end it there. But I just want to say thank you so much for giving me some of your time. I miss everybody so much. I miss my library. <laughs> I miss humanity. Um, and remember, it's OK to feel a little scared and to feel like things are really getting messy. But um, we're all going to get through it. We're going to get through it together and just keep reading and writing the best you can and keep learning. And I hope to do this again sometime soon. Um, I usually blow bubbles at the end of story time. I don't have any bubbles with me today, but maybe we can do some imaginary bubbles like uh, we did before with the bubblegum song. So I'm going to blow some bubbles. And we're going to pop, 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 all the bubbles. Pop, 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 pop. All right. So thank you so much, everybody. For, thank you for your comments. It makes me feel a little less lonely. And um, I love you. And I hope to see you again soon. So let's say goodbye together. Ready? Goodbye, good day, and see you soon. See you soon. See you soon. Goodbye, good day, and see you soon on another day. So thank you, everybody. Be well, be safe, and um, wash your hands, okay? See you soon. Bye.